All right, now that you have your Microsoft Word and Excel documents talking to each other, I'm gonna show you how to create sort of a form in Excel. Uh, Excel used to have a pretty easy to use form um, um, feature that you could use to, in, to uh, input data into a spreadsheet, but they got rid of that, I think, with the uh, implementation of my, the Microsoft Forms app, which you, know, you can take it or leave it, but I'm just gonna show you how to do this in Excel. So what we're gonna do, uh, the, the reason you might wanna do this is basically if you have a form that you're working with or a letter or whatever it is that has like four fields like this one does, it may be easier to just leave it in this format and just work with it like this. But as you add more fields, you're gonna notice that this gets a little bit clunky. So you may wanna uh, figure out a way to make it more user friendly. So that's what we're gonna do. So this sheet right here, this is what is actually gonna talk to the Microsoft Word document that we worked on. So we want to make sure that everything ultimately ends up on this uh, table here. So what we're going to do is we're going to rename this sheet because uh, we're going to be adding sheets here. We're going to rename this uh, pull me into Word. You're going to see why this is useful later, um, especially if you have multiple people working on this. Maybe some people don't know as much about it as others. Uh, just name this something like this. All right. So then we're going to create a form here that's a little bit more like aesthetically pleasing and a little more user friendly. So let's just, um, so what we wanna do, we wanna be able to input uh, name, date, time and place. We're gonna make this like as complicated as possible just to demonstrate a few different features. Um, also, we're gonna talk through some formulas that are gonna be useful for this uh, that are gonna make your life easier so you don't have to keep inputting the same information in different ways. All right, so we're gonna create our form. All right, so we need to be able to input name, um, date, and we'll just make that date and time, place, all right? And then, um, let's, let's do something else. So I also wanna demonstrate an if function, so, or if formula, so let's do um, scheduled, all right, so um, for the name, let's do first, last, and then date and time. Let's merge these. Date and time, we're going to do um, month, day, year, time. Again, I'm, it doesn't have to be this complicated, but I wanna show you how some functions and formulas work. So place, we're just gonna leave there like that. And then scheduled is gonna be a yes or no. You can make this a drop down. You could do this a number of ways. I'm just gonna type it. So yes or no. All right, and then of course, like uh, if this is for other people to use, you may wanna make this easier to look at more aesthetically pleasing, you can do stuff like like this. You know, play around with it. I don't want to get too into the weeds of of aesthetics, but we'll just do this. All right. So this is our form. So remember that all of this data needs to eventually end up in this spreadsheet. So how do we do that? If you've never used Excel before, I'm gonna assume you've never used Excel before, we're gonna walk through this step by step. So name here, let's assume we wanna keep it in this format, uh, first and last. Notice that in the um, form we have it separated into two different cells. That's gonna give us a little bit more flexibility. So say in some places you want to just use a first name, some places you just wanna use a last name or whatever the case may be that's gonna give us more flexibility. But the problem that presents is, well, how do we get it into this format where it's first, space, last, here? Um, so the way we're gonna do that is we're gonna use a, a formula called concatenate. And what that's gonna do is it's gonna take multiple cells and it's gonna join them together in a string. So I'll show you how to do that now. So we're gonna go in here, and the way we link one cell to another is we're gonna hit the equal sign, equals. And then to use a formula, you just start typing and it'll try to figure out what your concatenate right there. There's the concatenate formula. Then we're going to 
for every formula in Excel that's like this, you then hit an open parentheses and it's gonna tell you uh, what the form uh, of your formula should be or the syntax should be right here. So the first text we're gonna want, we're just gonna click over to sheet one. We're gonna click, okay, so we want their first name first, right? And then this is the part that gets a, a little tricky if you've never done it before. So comma, and then what do we want before the first and last name? We want a space. So in order to insert a space there, we're gonna use quotation marks. So quotation marks, space, quotation marks, and then comma again, and then last name, just like that. And then close parentheses, and we're gonna hit enter. All right, so you see this is blank now. So if we go back into here, so let's let's actually go ahead and rename this uh, data entry. So first name is John, last name is Smith, and then right there, see? So that concatenated those two cells into first space last name. All right, so date, we're gonna do something very similar. So November 20th, 2020, month, November, November 20th, 2020, and 5 p.m. So we're gonna use concatenate again, and I'm gonna show you a little bit more with concatenate. So equals concatenate, and we're gonna do month, space, day, sp and then between the day and the year, we're gonna want uh, a comma and a space. So put those in, in quotation marks. And then year, and that's gonna be our date. See that? Month, space, day, comma space year. So this is pulling from the data entry spreadsheet. And then the time, we can just link that straight over to that cell so we don't need to use any formulas or anything. So time, there you go. And then place is gonna be the same thing. It's just gonna be straight linked over there. And then for scheduled, um, I'm gonna, Say I want a, the letter to say something different if we've already scheduled the, the, the meeting or if, uh, say, we need to schedule a meeting, right? So um, we're going to hit yes, right? Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to decide if, if we haven't scheduled the meeting, we want to say, I would like to schedule a meeting for date at time in place. And if we have scheduled a meeting, it'll say, I look forward to our meeting scheduled for date at time and place. So I'm, I'm just gonna copy this over. I'm gonna create a reference sheet over here. So this is our text that we want if we have scheduled a meeting. I look forward to our meeting scheduled. And then if we haven't scheduled a meeting, we're gonna say, I would like to schedule a meeting. All right. So scheduled, not scheduled. All right, so we're gonna use an if formula to look at the data entry sheet and figure out whether or not we've scheduled a meeting then pick from one of these two and insert it. Um, also, we're gonna need to insert a new field, right? So this is actually gonna need to be a field. So we're going to insert a new field into our table at the end here. And that obviously there's a different way you could have done that, but I just did it that way. And then we're just gonna call this schedule meeting, whatever. Okay, so we're gonna use an if formula. Um, so we're gonna hit equals if, and then we're gonna have, uh, so it pulls up the, the syntax here, right? So this is our logical test. What do we want our logical test to be? So we wanna say if this cell is equal sign, and then in, in quotation marks, why, so if yes, so if we have scheduled a meeting, 
we want it to be, and then value if true, what do we want it to say if this equals y? Well, we want it to say this, right? And then we're gonna use, it. if it doesn't say yes, then we want to say this, because we haven't scheduled a meeting, right? And then close parentheses. And then we're gonna save this worksheet and then to add that field into our Word document, we're going to have to go back and actually relink it to the spreadsheet, just like we did before. So we're going to go to Use an Existing List. We're going to find our spreadsheet. Where is our, There it is. Yes. And then remember, remember how we renamed the sheet to pull me into Word? This is why. So now we have three different spreadsheets, right? And if we didn't rename them, they would just say like sheet one, sheet two, sheet three, and that would be very confusing. So we know this is the one we need. Okay. And now when we go to insert merge field, we're gonna have schedule meeting uh, as an option. So we're gonna insert that. We're going to delete the text there and then since in our spreadsheet, we said that we already have a, a meeting scheduled, right? It's going to say, I look forward to our meeting scheduled for November 20th, 2020 at 5 p.m. in Chicago. So we went through uh, building a form. We talked about the concatenate function, which is really important. Then we talked about the if function. And the if function is a very powerful tool, so keep that in mind. And it's, uh, it's good to always see like how different ways you can use that because you can actually um, have your spreadsheet do a lot of the work for you so you don't have to go in and enter a bunch of different data. All right, so let's change it to uh, no, we don't have a meeting scheduled and see if it translates over. So we're going to put no, we have not scheduled a meeting and then to make that data go over to our Word document, we're gonna to have to save the worksheet. It's not automatic, it's not automatic. So save the worksheet, go back to your Word document, select recipients, we have to link it back to that uh, spreadsheet. Desktop, That this is where I have my spreadsheet saved. Yes. And I know this seems cumbersome, and it is for a letter this simple, but if you had a form that has hundreds of different fields. This is way faster than trying to go through and edit every single field. Pull me into Word, okay. And so we said, no, we don't have a meeting scheduled. So this should say, I would like to schedule a meeting for, let's see, there you go. So there you go, you've got uh, building a form, linking that form to your uh, table that talks to the Word document. Uh, you've got your concatenate function and your if function.